Mankind has always looked to the stars and wondered, are we alone in the universe? Discoveries of possible life on Mars and intriguing new planets have raised the possibility of other life forms. Today, scientists are probing the cosmos, actively seeking a first encounter with alien life. If a discovery reveals it to be intelligent life, our world might never be the same. For centuries, humans have gazed out at the night sky and wondered if somewhere, out there, some other being might be looking back. We may now be on the verge of answering that age-old question. seem fixated on apocalyptic visions of beings from another world intent on conquering us. They've become imaginary foes who need to be defeated. Welcome to Earth. These creatures were once the sole domain of Hollywood, artists and sci-fi writers. But today, scientists are searching for extraterrestrial life. What they may find could be quite different from our fantasies. Spurred on by recent discoveries from Mars and beyond, scientists are pushing technology to new limits. Searching for evidence of other life out in space, they may have already found evidence of alien microbes. Finding intelligent life may be just around the corner. Looking for aliens is no longer considered off the wall in the scientific community. In fact, the search has gained worldwide momentum. In Italy, a major link summit of international scientists gathered at Capri to share their theories on extraterrestrial life. They came from the fields of astronomy, biology, physics and cosmology. Experts the world would turn to in the event of a first alien encounter. If you look carefully at this representation of a, of a planetesimal or an asteroid-like thing... Which, we, which one will be published? Both. Both. Here, the normally reserved scientists allow their imaginations to soar. I, I, I would say that mankind has to speak to extraterrestrials with one tongue. If an extraterrestrial craft arrives on Earth, you know, that is even more important because we are not prepared. And not at all. We never know whether the aliens are actually aiming their transmitters in our direction. What happens if we actually overhear a signal, right? What happens then? It's a factor of 20 faster. Much of the excitement revolves around two American astronomers, Paul Butler and Jeffrey Marcy of San Francisco State University. Together, in less than two years, these men have discovered more planets than anyone else in history. What we know about life indicates that it formed on a planet. Butler and Marcy's new planets have increased the odds of finding alien life. The reason we look out there for planets and the reason we look out there for other creatures has all to do about in here, you know? Where do we fit in the universe? What is our role in the universe? Uh, so, uh, you know, we're driven by our only desire to have a deeper understanding of ourselves. Even with the best telescopes available, astronomers can't see planets beyond our solar system. So Butler and Marcy looked instead for peculiar behavior in the stars. The real difficulty with trying to find planets orbiting other stars is that stars are a billion times brighter than the attendant planets that are going around. Probably the best analogy is to imagine uh, trying to see a firefly uh, at night. But now imagine that a nuclear explosion has just gone off 
next to that firefly, you're going to have a lot of trouble seeing the firefly itself. We admit right from the start, we ain't going to see the planet. So we focus our attention on the star, and that's all we observe, in fact, is the star's light. And we look for the effect of the planet on the star. And in fact, planets exert a gravitational force on the star, and so the star is kind of yanked around as the planet goes around. At the beach on Capri, Jeff Marcy uses a boulder to demonstrate this celestial dance. The rock represents the planet, and I represent the star. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So while I'm pulling on the rock, the rock's pulling on me. And if you watch me carefully, you see that while I'm swinging the rock, the rock 